we're here yeah. and we continue to grow yeah. and you know and the, you know the next sister that comes in as well she'll get in you know she'll be able to bond you know with us and grow with us as well but like i said a lot of people you know, and that's and I and I think the most high that's nothing that we've ever experienced where we be like, Oh, y'all know y'all just doing that for the camera. Yes, and, fake. and I I'm not thank God that we never experienced that. What's your name? <laughs> What's your name? As you know. You gotta talk to the I'm a pawn in this game of life. We call chess that word that manifests. Dear Lord, I try my best to break the chains of flesh. Man gone now. Okay. So all I say is this little paragraph right here. Yup. And you take over from there. Yup. Great. <laughs> All right, so let me practice my speech. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. What you doing? What you practicing? Oh what you doing? Oh what you doing? Thirty one and eleven. You nervous, right? Eleven and then you doing thirteen. Like, yeah. yeah. So eleven and just said you guys, you guys be safe, safely trusting you. Oh my goodness. So I just broke the person who verified said breaking me down. So you're going to be reading those things? And you know what's funny? I'm actually recording. Why are you recording? I'm putting this in the introduction. Oh my goodness. Shalom, shalom. We back. Welcome to another. Video. Uh, I know it's been a while since we've been here, but guess what? We back. We've been so busy with actually. Uh, what's the book right here? Pass me the book. So in case you didn't know, well, you probably saw the last video. As you know, I got the unwritten rules of polygyny, which you can definitely find at propolybook.com. Uh, I'll definitely put the uh, website on the screen. Um, public service announcement before we get started. To um, if we have been friends on social media, no matter if I know you personally. Um, maybe we just met, anything like that. Um, just know that the page is not a, it's not a, um, a personal page anymore. It's more so of a business page. So the only ones who will be on there is those, of course, who have bought the book. And of course, those who have bought merchandise. Speaking of merchandise, uh, we got shoes, cups, things like that. I believe my wife's going to talk about it as well. Boom. So we definitely got shoes as well, as you can see. On my foot um we also have different color jackets like you see the blue and yellow in here shirts of course uh every jacket has shoes and shirts to match this is the uh, purple one the same color as the lakers all right so you can definitely see that and you can see propolybook.com the tag on the inside matches as well just like this one i don't know if you able to see it yeah so once again it's propolybook.com uh, once again, if you have not bought the book or the merchandise, once again, you'll be removed from the actual website. Um, well, uh, my actual personal page. Again, it's nothing personal. It's just business. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and bring on in my wives. I'm sure. I'm sure a lot of you all missed them, and I'm sure a lot of you all have hated them. <laughs> so with that being said, once again, propolybook.com. The unwritten rules of polygyny, even see that they go playing again. <laughs> I was doing good. Anyway, um, the unwritten rules of polygyny, even if you are against polygyny, so you may say, well, I don't agree with it. The book is for you as well. All right. So let me go ahead and bring them on in because right now they're playing too much. Here we go. Let's go because um, we have someone who you all have never physically met as well. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> Let's get it. Right. <laughs> and pass me it up. Yeah. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and get it, ladies and gents. 
Once again, here's, I was going to say three faces you haven't seen in a while, but there's actually four faces. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. Shalom, we're the sister the wives of the house of Judah. You may know our Lord is Judah the Shooter. <laughs> go ahead and like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications to get notified when we upload new videos. Ding. <laughs> um, today we like to introduce to you our new sister wife, Angela. What? The yeah. newest member of House of Judah. Yeah. I got another one. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> well, won't he do it? <laughs> yes. Yes. Angela, yes. Hello, I am Angela. I'm the new sister wife in the House of Judah. Yes, you are. <laughs> 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 My love is new, you know what I'm saying? Are you nervous, baby? I'm very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> and we is keeping it. No, it's all good though. Just gonna show you that, you know, she's human. You know, we all here. Alright, so let's go ahead and get it going. So what are we talking about? Because I actually don't know all of the topics that you all are going over. Except for maybe one. Um, the uh, well, I'll go ahead. The day you're not, was it wasn't your day is not filled, yeah. Or like so, uh, the video that we're gonna go over, um, uh, right now is your day is not filled, and basically, um, this video is for women who you know, those who've been in the truth, um, for many years, they know the truth, they know, uh, what the what thus said the most high, they're married now, have children, all these things. Um, but they don't really know what their will is. They really don't know what they're supposed to be doing um, as daughters of Zion because their day is not filled doing what he said we're supposed to do. Right. It's filled on Facebook all day mm. um, and drama, uh, causing strife and wrath and just envy, all those things of the flesh. So these women, um, their day is not filled when they're not doing what does said the Most High God and they're being distracted and they're being influenced by Satan and they're not walking in the spirit. Mm. Kind of. yeah, right. They're too busy worrying about what their husband's doing and who he's chasing up behind and things like that. And if your day was filled, you wouldn't even have time to do things like that. Kind of. All right. So I guess before we get started, what's this you all have on? Uh, we have on Polygyny. Okay. Um, that is the Polygyny name jackets. of the brand. Oh, everybody's looking colorful. Yes. Yes, we got jackets for sale as you've already seen. Even the flag behind them is, of course, for sale. At what site? ProPolyBook.com. Yes, man. Hey, ProPolyBook.com. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's get it. <laughs> Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Everybody getting uh <laughs> right, getting to know the uh the new system on the block. Okay. <laughs> so today we're uh talking about your day is not fulfilled. Um we are first going to hit Proverbs 31 and 11. Mm-hmm. Um, does your husband, I want you to ask yourself this question. Does your husband trust in you? Can he rely on you? If not, here are a few things that you can do in order for him to trust you. All right. So just um, make sure you guys go ahead and hit these scriptures up. These are um, not being read tonight because we've actually discussed these scriptures in previous videos. Come on. Side note. So go ahead and look those scriptures up. We're just going to hit key points in those scriptures. Um, also, go ahead and go ahead and go down to verse 13 through 27. So these are some things that uh, women, our foremothers, did to fulfill their days. Um, they worked with their hands. They brought forth food from afar. They raised up at night to get meat. They also, they were up so late, their candles didn't go out. So, um, in that scripture, you also read, you know, their candles didn't, didn't go out, meaning that they were up at night when their families were asleep. They were still up getting in, getting everything done. They planted vineyards. Um, she's strong. She's not afraid of snow. So, even in the wintertime, snow and ice outside, she was up doing what she had to do because she had to take care of her family. She had to make sure that her day was fulfilled, making sure that her husband's house was up and running well and he didn't have to worry about it. He was out there doing what he had to do. And so she was out there doing what she had to do, making sure that the kids were well taken care of and that, you know, that his house was running more smoothly. She made clothes. She fed the poor. Uh, she looked out for her household. She was not idle, meaning she, mm. well, I mean, back then they ain't have Facebook, but she wasn't <laughs> in Facebook. She wasn't in other sisters' houses being messy, going, being tail bearing. She wasn't, you know, trying to see what's the latest gossip in somebody else's house. She was too worried about her own house. So that's what us as sisters today, we need to do. We need to worry about our own house because a wise woman built her house up. A foolish woman plucked it down. All right. That's right. You know, and, and above all, she was blessed. She was blessed. You know, she was highly favored. Her kids looked at her as blessed. Her husband looked at her as blessed because these are the things that he knew that she was doing, taking care of her house um, or his household. You know, and he didn't, he, you know, he was able to put forth trust in her because he knew that she was going to get the job done and do what she had to do. Okay, and then also another scripture that you guys can write down is Titus 2. Um, I'm just going to hit some key points as far as this woman, her day being fulfilled. Um, because according to the scriptures, us as women, aged women, are supposed to be teaching the young women, teaching women on how to be. Uh, young daughters of Zion and if your day is uh, not fulfilled you won't be doing those things you're, you're not doing your the will your your purpose you're not walking in that you're doing contrary to what uh, a woman of the most high supposed to be doing so again you'll be teaching women to be chaste you know pure you'll be teaching the young women to you know be sober minded um, not drunk off of wine uh, to loving their husband, teaching their children. A lot of women, they're not focused. They're not even doing those proper things as far as taking care of their own husband and making sure the children are, you know, these the children are of the world. They doing carnal things, you know, not keeping the Sabbath, um, not walking in the role that a young, young, young prince and a princess is supposed to be because it starts with the, it starts with you, and you're not doing your will because you're too busy doing things that's contrary to it, walking in the flesh. Um, you're too busy worrying and stressing about polygyny when that's your whole day is filled on that, when you're not filled on what you're supposed to be doing according to the Bible. Um, so these women, again, she was a keeper at home, teaching your your young daughters to be keepers at home and not out in the streets being busybodies and doing all these carnal things. So again, read over Titus 2 verses 3 through 5 and you you can line up. Am I being? Am I doing the will of the Most High? Am I walking? Am I fulfilling my days, or am I being a waste of space and not and walking contrary to what I'm supposed to be doing? Uh-huh. 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 
Um, now the next scripture we have is the Rock 26 uh, verse 14. I'm going to read that. <coughs> Um, it says, a silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord, and there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. Mm. Um, with that being said, you know, adding on to Judy and what she was saying we're supposed to be doing as women, you know, as a wife, this is what you're supposed to be doing. A man doesn't need um, this loud mouth woman, uh, clamorous, always talking, always nagging. You know, we are supposed to be their piece. We are supposed to be a pillar, a rest for them, um, as a help me. We're literally here to help them. So it's our job to make sure that we are helping them. We are striving to be, you know, virtuous wives, um, good wives, good servants, not only to our husbands, but also to the most high. Um, and uh, moving forward, we're also going to go over Sirach 26 and 6. Now we've said this scripture several times, so I won't read this one. Um, but the point is, is that, you know, going back to what my sister Josiah said, you know, if your day is full, you have zero reasons to be uh, jealous or worry about what um, another woman is doing with or for your husband or what your husband is doing at all, you know, period. Um, yeah, you shouldn't have to worry about it. Um, you know, if you're not doing these things or if you are doing these things, then you know that you need to go ahead and make some adjustments. All right. He ain't spending enough time with me. <laughs> 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 and again, to pick back up what Mecca was saying as far as being a jealous woman, you know that a jealous woman will not enter, enter into the kingdom of God. Kind of. Um... You know, a lot of women waste their breath and their time, you know, especially with polygyny, you know, being jealous and worried about another woman when they're losing focus of what they're supposed to be doing every day. That stuff don't supposed to stop because you're in your flesh and your feelings. Um, and that's what we're going to read about, the spirit versus the flesh. And we're going to read Galatians 5 and we're going to start at verse 18. And it says, but if ye be led of the spirit, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are deeds, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred. A lot of women are, work, are walking in that spirit. They have hatred in their hearts, variance, uh, causing strife and, you know, just, you know, uh, arguments with other people, emulations, wrath, that's anger, strife, seditions, heresies. You know, tail bearing, going back and forth. You know what, tail bearing. You know what other people are doing, and and, call, and meddling in affairs and causing again strife, mm -hmm. envying. You're envying this woman because you, you because he want to take this woman as a wife. So now that's another one you walking in. Which side yeah. note? Which being envious of someone, most women find out they're really insecure. Go check out our video, Are You Secure? Yeah. yeah. And um, you'll see what I'm talking about. I thought it was called Are You Insecure? Are you, yeah. Are you Insecure? Are you insecure? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. I'm like, hold on, wait a minute. No, Are You Insecure? <laughs> yeah, go and check out. I mean, most women, you find out that about yourself when you you secretly hating on another woman because you really have insecurity within ourself. Yeah. Go check out our video. And that's true. And just because of that, now you're walking in all these fleshly things. And not just one, it's several spirits on you. Um, murder. And now you become a murderer uh, spiritually. Because a lot of women push women to the point where they don't even want to be in this walk anymore. You've uh -huh. killed their spirit. So, um, I know. You kill marriages too. Video that's coming it. soon. Yeah. Coming it. soon. Oh, okay. Well, look at y'all. That too. Go ahead. Uh, drunkenness. It just told you again that you're supposed to be us as women. are supposed to be uh, sober-minded and not giving too too much wine. So it's saying that yeah, you can drink it, but you don't over don't overindulge in it because again, it can send some women who are not strong in the word and the flesh, and now they're mm -hmm. all they're walking in all these things. So it's just letting you know just to you know just to walk in the right spirit. Um, revelings and such like of which I tell you before as I have also told you in time past that they which do these things shall not inherit the kingdom of God does it say that they should inherit the kingdom of God no it says that they shall not inherit the kingdom of God 
But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. And they that are of Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another. So it's letting you know again, it's telling you, <coughs> you know, don't be envious, envious of one another. That's not a good spirit to be under, especially a, a woman of the Most High. So that's a spirit that you need to check and, and, and repent. Right, now talk about that provoking one another. Um, okay, so basically when you're provoking one another, like you are uh, picking or uh, trying to uh, make someone feel like they're lower than you, they're less a lesser person than you, and so you don't want to provoke um, your sister like that. You want to lift her up, encourage her. Um, make sure that she is uh, has everything that she needs she may not be on the same level that you're on so you want to teach her and you know share scriptures and things that you've been through and you've overcame so yeah you want to make sure that you're not provoking uh, one another in reference to being sister wives or just being sisters in general hey, you know what's crazy uh, real quick I, I start taking a sip of my uh, drink my probably cup right now. My probably went back out. Yeah. <laughs> and as I was drinking, I was like, I was trying not to go. When it comes, like, I gotta drink this a little light. <laughs> 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 I was like, hold on, like, how can I drink this without making too much noise? <laughs> uh, yeah. Let me drink that because I'll be the whole video. Thank you. But um, yeah. Another thing too, when we move, we're gonna get like a, a huge thing so everybody can sit on, you know, cause I'll take another wife, ain't gonna be no more room. Nope. On this couch. You have the edge, right. <laughs> I was like, you can yeah. put me back here. I said I'm tall, so I just said right. that. <laughs> 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 Sit up like that next time. Sit up like that next time. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Cause I'm tall, so. Cause <laughs> Sister wife might be like, well, where I'm gonna sit? On the floor. Right. Right. <laughs> just joking, y'all. Yeah. Just joking. Not really. <laughs> it's beautiful, though, too, because I ain't going to lie. Uh, real quick before they get back started. I did not think that you all was going to see uh, Angela for a while. Because <laughs> she'd be terrified of the camera, but she doing good. That's my girl. <laughs> all right. Let's go ahead and get on back to it. But yeah, that was that was really good though on the uh, on the provoking and things like that. Cause as we know, that sister wives can tend to do that. You know, if there's a strife in your home between you and your sister or a potential sister wife, you know, some sisters will provoke the other one, especially if they learn things like, "Oh, I know how to push your buttons." You know, they'll 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 start doing that. You know, so I thought that was an excellent point uh, that Angela brought out. In what you went over Judy so great job okay go ahead don't mind me all right so continuing on um we are actually approaching the end of this video um so I'm gonna throw out <clears throat> some homework for you guys mm -hmm. um homework for the week uh these that we just went over were examples of, of women who days were full um some examples of some some examples of women not being um, are having full days you can look at Genesis 19 uh, verse 26 of uh, 2 Samuel 6 14 through 23 and also Genesis 38 um, you also can and report back to your husband on it go ahead sorry you also can go to the mother who started it all Genesis yeah. 3 our dear mother Eve her day was definitely not full because what she let the adversary come in and, and deceive her and because she wasn't doing what she's supposed to do she let another man come in and look what we had today because mm. her day was not for full yeah. mm -hmm. we gotta get it together sisters like real talk yeah any um i guess so uh, do y'all want to put a challenge out to any sisters anything like that well um, well for the week we just want y'all to do some homework okay. to compare if your day is like what we read today of the scriptures and Proverbs and Titus and Galatians, then you're cool. But I mean, if your 
if your day is like Genesis 3, Genesis 39, and the rest of the scriptures that my sister said, then you need to do some reevaluation. We challenge you to one day at a time incorporate some new things into your day. New things. And healing. And not checking on your husband every five minutes is one of them. Right. Healing, definitely. Right. You yeah, definitely you need to heal. Healing? Heal better. I know that's your topic, then. Yeah. Um, I just want to say that before you consider being a sister wife or even a wife in general, you need to make sure that you are healed mm. um, from inner wounds that you may have in your heart from the past, um, because they are not what you have experienced in your past. Um, you have to give people a new start, a new chance in life. Um, when it comes to relationships, a lot of times we bring baggage into our new relationships and you want to make sure that you don't do that. So definitely heal better. Um, take tips, or, you know, look up things that you can do to um, help you to process things better. Um, but definitely get your heart right before you enter into uh, a marriage, uh, be it a polygynous marriage, and definitely before you interact and connect with sister wives. Kind, I definitely agree. That's great. That's great. Um, well, sisters, this is our journey for the week. Um, as you guys watch this video, go ahead and get your sister wives, your sisters, your daughters. You know, brothers, uh, please go ahead and get your concubines, your potential wives, all of them to, to so they know, they too know what their day is to be filled, especially women who are bringing up young daughters. This is definitely a video for you. Um, please don't forget to obtain your poly gear. Hey! Go to propolybook.com. So I'm talking about through the A, babe. Hey! Go to propolybook.com. Hey, look, hey, we. Hey, that's one thing about us. Look, we laugh in this house. Like, how often do I make y'all laugh? Every, Every day. day. Every day? Every day. Yes. Every day we laugh in this house. I remember, I think it was one of y'all said, King, if you ever take a wife, only thing we ask is just don't bring no Debbie down there. Yeah. Yeah. Party <laughs> pooper. Yeah. Because I'm just as petty as my king. If you can't take a joke. Right. It ain't gonna work. Man. <laughs> it don't work. It just don't work. We laugh every single day, man, in this house. Like, man, for real. So that's one thing we definitely do. And you sisters are in luck because they're about to do uh y'all about to do another video, right? Two more. Two more, yeah. So if you see it like damn half us got the same thing, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yes. no, we don't wear the same clothes every day. Yeah, no, we so. just we wanna put out more videos for you guys so y'all can stop worrying. We gonna we're going to dish them out in threes, and they'll be uploaded at later time. Yeah, at our husband's discretion. Yeah, at my discretion! <laughs> so, uh, yeah, don't forget, propolybook.com, you can obtain your book. Hey! Uh, counseling fees, uh, counseling services, um, just let you know, they will not be provided to those who do not have the book. So, if uh -huh. you do not support, you will not have access to us. Say it again, because somebody didn't hear it that was paying they will be deleted. Yeah. All now supporters will be deleted from my husband's Facebook page. Sorry, but not sorry. We got to make room for those who are supporting House of Judah. Facts. Um, so we, just we, we, we're going to go where we're celebrating, but not what? Tolerated. We're tolerated. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so just remember, uh, we do have women apparel, too. We do have cups, masks. Go, go on our website to check it out. New things are coming soon. They're Hi. being uploaded very often, so go check out what we have now. Hi. And don't forget that you can still find Jazai's candles, um, Shamir's lip gloss, and also uh, uh, Judy's jewelry is coming soon. Hi. Yeah. Yes. As, as well the, as uh, Mecca's Angela's soaps and body butters. Yes. And, and somebody amongst the, uh, those these four women is the author. On Facebook. <laughs> mm -hmm. Shop. Shopping with uh, she's gonna be uh, putting yeah. a book out. You can yeah. Also yeah, check out our Facebook page at Shopping with Shopping House of with Judah. Judah. Yeah. Oh, is it House of yeah. Judah? Yeah, Shopping with House of Judah. House of Judah. Yeah, but I may shut that down and have us just do it on the Pro Poly Book website. And don't be surprised if um if you like, hey, where'd they go? We're gonna more than likely we're gonna start putting the videos on the uh, Pro Poly um, Book dot com website as well. Um, I have something special for brothers. As well as sisters who get the book and also have a subscription on the website. Um, I don't want to give everything away, but just know that I have something special uh, coming. You know, and once again, what about that counseling? Who can all get counsel? So if you do not have our book, 
you mm. will not be able to obtain counseling from us. Um, yeah. And also, like with that being said, um, just uh, specify that each person that's in the council needs to have the book individually, kind. Mm-hmm. not just the family, but each person. Kind. Absolutely, Angela. You want to say anything to close this out? No, I just Miss nervous. <laughs> You did good. I just want to say to be on the lookout for a heal better Yaz way. Mm-hmm. Um, it's definitely going to be something for the sisters. Um, we're gonna get y'all c- right. <laughs> hmm. Facts. <laughs> In a good way. Right. Um, it's definitely going to help you. So just be on the lookout for that. Absolutely. You want to close this out in prayer? <laughs> continue to grow and you know and you know the next sister that comes in as well she'll get in you know she'll be able to bond you know with us and grow with us as well but like i said a lot of people you know and that's and i and i think the most high that's nothing that we've ever experienced where we like oh y'all know y'all just doing that for the camera yes, and, and, and i and i thank god that we never experienced that what's your name what's your name as is Judah. You gotta talk to the It's a B-A-B-Dush I'm a pawn in this game of life Chest that word that manifest